It's finally happening. The video you guys have all been waiting for is for today's video. I'm going to be doing my makeup using only viral makeup products. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name's Lex. If you guys are not new here, welcome back. But for today's video, I've been seeing this going around TikTok and I've been seeing people doing it on TikTok. So I thought I'd bring it to YouTube and we're going to be doing our makeup using only viral TikTok makeup products that have kind of like shock the tiktok community like i'm sure if you guys are part of the makeup community on tiktok um you've seen like elf drunk elephant nars like the concealers the blushes everything rare beauty like we've got it all over here so i'm doing my video with the makeup today so i hope you guys enjoy if you do make sure you like comment and subscribe and let's just get into the video right in front of me i have a mirror like i'm sitting in my vanity right now so there's three mirrors behind me so i'm gonna be looking this way and i also whenever i do my makeup have this other like close-up mirror from tj maxx that i like to use as well so if I'm looking down a lot, like, in or straight forward, that's why. I've already done all my skincare, like, right before this. I was in the bathroom. Like, I took a shower. I did my skincare. But we're missing one step of the skincare prep. And I wanted to use my sunscreen with you guys. And I'm going to disappoint a lot of people. I do not like Super Goop. I don't know if that's a popular opinion or not, but this is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. And I will not lie. Like, the thing is almost empty. I've used a ton of it. But let me tell, like, yeah, like, now it's just kind of squirting liquid, but let me tell you guys why I don't like it. As an oily skin girly, and I'm sure some of you might relate to this when watching this video, Super Group is just not for us. It didn't cause me acne, like, I will say that, because I've used it, like, more than once. Like, during lacrosse season, if you guys know, like, I play lacrosse, I use this on my face every single day. And even with the sweating, like, my acne was not that bad. But, like, recently, it's just been breaking me out. Like, I don't... I don't like it. Like, I don't prefer it. It isn't something I'd reach for. It isn't something I'd repurchase it. I'm not a super goop hater. I don't know. Like, it doesn't even make my face really feel like anything. Like, I get it. Like, there's no cast, which is good. But other than that, like, I give this product, like, a 7 out of 10. I really don't recommend it. Also, like, this size alone is literally $18. Like, there's no need. I'm going to go in with the bronzing part of this. And if you guys know where this is going you know where this is going. So the first thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Prom Pronte Polypeptide Cream, I think that's what it is, from Drunk Elephant. And I actually have a lot to say about this. First of all, $68 for a moisturizer is absurd. Did I buy it? Yeah, but absurd, like literally absurd. There's no reason for this to be $68. But I just like, I cannot justify this price. I will continue to probably buy it. So I don't know why I'm complaining. I have the purple version of this, and if you're an oily skin girly, somebody who struggles with acne, they play sports, like, it kind of just, like, you have minimal breakouts, but they're stubborn and they don't really go away, um, I recommend this, because the purple cream, like, the one right here, is not for oily skin, I literally used it for four days straight, let me tell you, my face has never been worse, like, I was in South Carolina, I didn't have all my skincare products, like, I was stressed out, and I started putting this thing on my face, because I thought, okay, like, I have this with me, like, it'll be fine, my face broke out like a mother freaker so bad so bad pimples everywhere the most stubborn pimples of my life in the weirdest places like i'm still getting over the one that's on my cheek it was literally like a planet on my face but um basically i did my research which i probably should have done before like buying the other moisturizer come to find out like everybody's rated it like not for acne oily prone skin like not for people with acne not acne blah blah, blah not acne but, like, come to find out, like, I didn't do that and I just bought it because it was viral and I literally buy anything I see on TikTok. So, like, yeah, it was not good. So, after I did my research, after I came home from vacation, I went and I returned it and I've been using this for a few days so far and I really love it. There's been no problems with my skin. So, honestly, like, I really recommend this. Um, It does feel really nice, too. And this one has a teeny bit of a different texture from the other moisturizer. Like, I feel like this is a little bit more wet and, like, cleanser-like. But, I don't know, I do really like this and I honestly would give it out a 10 out of 10. I do recommend it for, you know, like anyone, especially like acne girls and like oily prone skin people. Like, I got you. Like, this acne in my hairline and stuff like doesn't go away. So, let's talk about the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops, which I have right here. It is what they look like if you guys don't know. And the Say Super Glow Drops. So, I actually have both. I have the mini version and then I have the regular um drunk elephant bronzing drops version like i do like the say one because i feel like you can do it without moisturizer but i do believe that the say looks better if you put moisturizer on it like on with it but the drunk elephant ones are like pretty good 
I don't know, I like the whole idea of the Drunk Elephant like package coming together. I'm gonna be using the Drunk Elephant Drops because those are more like wildly popular, if that's what it is. Like these are really getting popular too. Like they're sold out everywhere. So that's why I had to order the mini size online. But I'm gonna do the Drunk Elephant ones because that's like the most viral, I'd say. Like I feel like the Drunk Elephant was or like is more viral than the say glowy drops my face does look and feel really bronzy at the moment um yeah i really like it i do recommend these i give them a good like eight out of ten the reason why there's two points off is because i will never justify this price once again 38 dollars for this is just not justified um the lumi lotion drops are literally the exact same the drunk elephant is just having it for the aesthetic um the say glow beauty gel i think that's like a little bit less expensive but i don't really know um, that's literally the same. Honestly, this is a little bit better, but, like, there's so many other options that you can use for bronzing, and that is honestly, like, I, you can't justify the price. Like, it's really not the hype. Like, I like it a lot, and I do use it almost every day, but there's definitely better options out there. Next thing we're gonna go in with is the famous e.l.f. Putty Primer, which I have been using for a while now. Um, probably a year, to be honest. Like, I don't know when this went viral on TikTok, but I've been using this because, like many of you, e.l.f. was the first brand that I really got into. I really like this. This is my second tube of this. And this thing literally lasts you forever. You only need, like, the smallest pump of, like, anything to put this on your face and, like, use it. Um, like, it just spreads really nicely. Like, I could use a dot this size. I don't even... On the tip of my finger. And I could spread it. And it goes so far. Now, we're going to go in with the famous... Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Dupe, the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Um, honestly, I rate this like this is pretty good. Um, it is viral, so I feel like many people think like, oh, like viral products are just viral because they're trendy, blah, blah, blah. But no, like the e.l.f. This like e.l.f. Halo Glow stuff is actually really nice. Um, I don't wear it a lot because um, I don't wear a lot of like heavy makeup, but I wouldn't even really consider this heavy makeup. I just like don't like the feeling of like foundations are like really like heavier products necessarily on my face um, this is all you know blended in it has a really glowy look um a little product goes a long way with this and honestly i recommend it i like it really good beginner product not even it doesn't even have to be a beginner product good for anybody with like a light base and they don't want anything heavy like i definitely recommend her the next thing to go in with i recently just got and i caved because i needed a new concealer is the nars radiant creamy concealer this is what she looks like. She's really pretty. She's really nice. She's fun. Um, I actually really, really like this concealer. Mixed reviews about it. Like, it was very... I don't even know how to explain it. Like, people had, like, very mixed reviews about this product. Like, oh, like, I don't like it. Like, it shows my crease lines, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like every single product has their own issues. And it's all, like, about what you want to do. Like, who who uses it, what you're using it for, but my take on the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is that I love it. It's safe to say that I really rate the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer a 10 out of 10, and it honestly deserves all the hype it does get because it's it's really good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my face a little bit just because um, this doesn't have to last like all day, but I am going to take pictures today for Casely, so... I gotta kind of have it looking a little bit good. And to set, today I'm gonna use the famous e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder that everybody was saying was like a dupe for like, I don't even know, like the Laura Mercier powder. And I think it's funny because I'm using the Laura Mercier Puff to do my under eyes right now. This powder is really good. Like my face literally feels like so nice, so soft. It's honestly, it's a good texture. It works, it does the job. Like there's no need to buy a more expensive one but I'm like I said I'm so easily influenced so like I will end up buying a more expensive one like the high-end trendy ones which is bad like I admit that's an issue but I don't know this elf here I'll show you guys I don't know if some of you have ever seen it elf halo glow setting powder and it's the I'm pretty sure it's the one that's like supposed to match this but I really recommend this especially with the elf halo glow like filter thing on my face um it's really like a great duo eyebrows today i'm gonna go in with the nyx the brow glue this is viral on tiktok i don't know if you guys have ever seen it like, this is pretty viral on tiktok um it's really hard to find in most stores i got mine at like a walmart in like a literal different state when i was like on vacation 
because I've been looking for this and they haven't had it at the Ulta near me. And the Ulta near me is literally five minutes down the street and that's bad. Like that is not good because all my money goes there. But I do really recommend this for somebody who is like not really like brows but like light brows who just can't really shape them. Like if I did like a whole brow look with like a pencil and everything, it wouldn't work out because I have no brows and I just don't know how to do it. So this is a really good simple alternative and it's so cheap. It's like six bucks from what I remember. The next thing I'm going to go in with is bronzer. Um... I've never changed the bronzer that I've been using. I have been using this bronzer. I think I've been using it before. It went super viral on TikTok. But this is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I freaking love Benefit. Um, I got this a while ago. And I got the mini version because I don't want to spend $35 on a bronzer when the mini version has lasted me so long already. So, like, there's no point. Like, when I get a new one, I don't know if I'll get the full version. But I'm definitely, um, like, if the mini version's in stock, it's going to be a little bit hard to figure out what I'm going to get. Because there is nothing wrong with the mini version. I know some products it's hard to get the mini version because they don't, it doesn't, like, feel the same. But this is literally no different. I'm using a huge brush because this is the way I like to put on my bronzer. And, like, this thing, it, just, it literally is bigger than that. But I love it. Like, there's... Mini version supremacy. It literally isn't even close to hitting pan. I I freaking love this bronzer and I honestly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Acne safe, I think. Feels so nice on the skin. It's light. It's not like an overwhelming bronzer. Like, it's good. Like, it's honestly like a top 10 favorite makeup product for me. Now for one of my favorite steps, we're going to be talking about blush. Um, I have the Rare Beauty one. This is in the shade Worth. This is really pretty and cute. It's honestly like such a mature blush shade color i like it but for some reason rare beauty blushes are so hard for me to blend if you guys have blending tips on how to blend it better and just make it look better please let me know because i've struggled with that since i've had the blush um i'm not gonna be using that blush today i just kind of thought i'd take it out to compare these two so with the rare beauty once again if you guys have any like tips on like how to you know blend it or just like literally yeah just honestly just how to blend it because i can't like it's so hard for some reason for me to blend it. So the blush that I've been using recently is the NARS Orgasm blush. Um, this is so pretty. It is such like a pinky color. I either love like a deep blush tone or I love a light pink blush tone. It was pricey. I don't know how much it was. It was either $24 or it was $26. It was $24 to $34. Like, I don't know. It was either in between or it was either one of those two. Next thing I'm going to go in with is highlighter. Um, This is my Holy Grail highlighter. I freaking love this highlighter. And it is not talked about enough. Not enough. I know it's viral on TikTok. Like, it's never been viral enough to the point where it's sold out in, like, stores across the world or whatever. Like, how Drunk Elephant was. This highlighter deserves the hype and, like, everything more. Um, First of all... It is the most long-lasting highlighter ever. It lasts me through 12-hour work, 16-hour work days with a 550-degree pizza oven around me at all times. And my highlighter is still the last thing to be on. It is gorgeous. Um, everything about it, it's so pretty. It's so freaking pigmented. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it is so freaking pigmented. And, like, I know it is popular, but it's not sold out. And I'm not telling you guys to sold out because I really like it and I don't want it to be sold out. But everybody needs to get their hands on this because this is this is it. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to do my lashes. So, I, for my lash curler, um, if you guys don't have a good one, I recommend this one. It's literally amazing. It's just the Tarte Eyelash Curler. Um, It's so good. Like, for some reason, I didn't know there was a difference between eyelash curlers until my friends started coming over and they started using it. And we're like, oh my god, like... This is so good, but like I didn't know that there was like a difference. I like to do one eye at a time when I do my mascara. But the mascara I'm using is the, um, Il I don't know if it's Alea or Ilia, but the Limitless Lash Mascara. This mascara and the volumizing one is currently going, um, what is it? They're currently going viral on TikTok. Um, it was sold out in the Sephora that I went to. I ordered this online because my boyfriend's mom uses it and she actually recommended it to me. But it's in the early stages, I'm pretty sure. Um, I do have the other viral mascaras. I have the Roller Lash one that Alex Earl uses. Um, I've had that one, though. That has been my starter mascara since I really started getting into makeup. But basically, I really like this one. The last things we're going to do is we're going to use the Benetint by Benefit. This limp tint, lip, 
this lip tint. Um, as you can tell, it's like halfway empty. Um, I got this in uh, March. Yeah. It, it's already lasted me like such a long time and this is affordable for this much though It was $23 and honestly like this has lasted me six months already like this is gonna last me a while finally the last step of our makeup is Setting spray and obviously I'm using the airbrush flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury I just got this the other day. This is really like the first time I'm actually using it. I don't know if I use too many spritz there. The only reason I have the mini version is because I bought this in South Carolina and I live in Mass. So I needed something that was like the smaller one to take on the plane with me. So once this is out, I'm going to buy the big size. This is the final look. I feel like I'm like literally glowing. Um, I love the makeup that I used. It looks really good. I could probably add some more blush, but I don't know if it's just the lighting. My lighting was really freaked up this entire video, so sorry about that. But this is, like I said, the final look. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed me doing my makeup with the viral TikTok products. Yeah, so I think we're going to bring more makeup videos to this channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.